Episode 2 of Through the Turnstiles. Quick intro, boom. Welcome to episode two of Through the Turnstiles. Today it is pissing. Another episode of ground hopping neutral vlogs. And it's always safe to bring a mask with you. Or don't, it's your opinion really. Off we pop, save myself the electricity bills, down the stairs, lock up. And did I forget to say it is absolutely pissing today? Oi, you out of roads? God, I absolutely hate cyclists. In episode two of Through the Turnstiles, we are going to some non league football. We are off to see Boreham Wood. Versus. When I say Wheelstone, you say Raider. Wheelstone Raider. Wheelstone Raider. Thank you to all of you that checked in in the first episode of Through the Turnstiles. I'll leave a link in the description below. Let's just say some very feisty scenes took place. <laughs> We start the journey by walking through this monsoon. Cute little doggos, that's class advertising. Heading to the bus, that's £1.55. Quick journey and I'm off the bus already. Always hated walking upstairs, me. Good old London tubes, add that to my bill and that's another £4.35 spent. I know what you're thinking. How can you call this London Underground when you can clearly see daylight? Well, in a very, yep, there we are, underground. Going underground, going underground. Oh, significant delays though. I always daydream when I look at that digital thingy. You probably clocked I'm going central London, which is a bit strange considering we're going Hertfordshire. Well, I'll explain about that in a second. Just staring at my Nikes until all of a sudden tube drivers got something to say. Some of you seem to have got masks without instructions. I'll give you a guide in hand. It's below your lips, you've turned it to a chin strap. It's around your chin, you've turned it to a necklace. Your face covering needs to cover your mouth and nose. Facial hair, hats, suits, and helmets do not count. Is this how you do it? Off the tube we go. More sodding stairs. I hate you. Escalator, my absolute hero. The excessive amount of advertising of wearing a mask and how to do it has really got me thinking. Are there some people that don't know how to wear a mask properly? Very quickly to explain, I've had to go to central London to help my friend Nal out, who's currently crashing at mine. I'm taking his bag so he doesn't have to take it to the game himself, and he'll be crashing at mine until hopefully he's found somewhere to live next week. Otherwise, I'm going to have to evict him with my bare hands. And oh, there he is. There he is. All of a sudden, he stopped by and he's fancied himself a prep. Did I forget to mention, by the way, how tall he is? I've gone to his workplace to collect his bags and I have to take it all the way back to mine. A wheelie and a very heavy backpack. More state the obvious signs. Back to the station we go. Escalators, I love you, you treacle. Wear a mask. Wear a mask. Wear a mask. Tubes here, that's another £4.35. And now I'm back on the bus, £1.55. I really don't want to look at my bank balance. Honey, I'm home. Out the door. Save me the electricity bill. Almost forgot me keys. Close the door. Trotting down the stairs. We're on our way. We're on our way. What sort of parking do you call this? Who let you drive on the roads? Really need to step the pace up, otherwise I'm going to miss the bus. And if I miss the bus... Whoa! Right, comment below if you want to sign a petition to ban cyclists forever. All right, give way to the pedestrian. Run! Made it and... Oh, God, not him again. Missed the bus. I blame that cyclist. On a bus now, that's another £1.55 spent. And nothing is going to stop me going to Boreham Wood. What the hell? The bus has randomly diverted. How the hell am I meant to get to that train station? Where did all this traffic come from? We are literally not moving. Shout out to the bus driver. He told me which bus stop to get off and walk it. It's only a five minute walk. We can live with that. To a younger audience out there that watches my videos, do not walk with a phone at night. Hallelujah. 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 Time to tap in. That's £2.70 spent. I moan quite a lot about stairs, but I don't mind walking down them. 25 minute wait for the train, though. Ah, look at them. Love is in the air. When you're getting down on one knee, fella. Finally, the train arrives. Quick journey, and we're already in Hertfordshire. Meeting a good mate of mine who's also going to the game. And we're making our walk down Elstree High Street. I hear this is the Hollywood of England. They film Big Brother in EastEnders. It's also going to be a very long walk. A big fat puddle has got in our way. We can't go under it. We can't go through it. But we can go over it. Niall, however, is a beta male and he's going around it. And I got my ticket ready. It's just a shame it's a digital ticket. 20 quid. The focus in here is absolutely shocking. But as you can see, there's a turnstile there. And we are going through the turnstiles to see Boreham Wood versus... When I say Wheelstone, you say Raider. Wheelstone Raider. Wheelstone Raider. We've made it to Meadow Park to watch a competitive game of National League football. And I've got to say, I'm very impressed with the conditions of the pitch. This is my view of the game in some proper old school looking, well, football terrace, I suppose you can call it. And this is my view of the pitch. And like I said, very impressed with the pitch. The stands, they do make it a non-league ground. It is a non-league setting and they're the players training right in front of us. Also quite impressed to see they've got a digital scoreboard when really in non-league football, it's, uh, well, more of a chalk and board, really. You can see the big football badge and the words of Boreham Wood Football Club there on that stand. 
I wonder if anyone's ever been denied entry to America because they pitch invaded in Meadow Park. At the very opposite end of us stand the Wheelstone fans. I'm scanning everywhere, everywhere I can see. However, I can confirm that I have still not found the Wheelstone Raider yet. On your own, on your own, on your own. It's quite a shocking view, but the players are coming on. Niles tucking into his burger. He absolutely loves it. Oh, he's got some chips. I think I'm going to nick one. He looks all sad. I'm going to rub it all over his face. I got your chip. And Boreham Wood are all set to kick off. Come on, the wood. I might need some subtitles, but those Boreham Wood fans really chanting stuck in a toilet. Boreham Wood have got a scoring opportunity there. Header. Uh, don't know what his name is, but he's right in front of the Willstone fans. Can you see the Willstone Raider anywhere? I can't see him anywhere. Oh, he skins him. He skins him. Go for the cross. Go for the cross. Ah, oh, oh, oh. uh, chin up, mate. Your crosses are better than Royal Emerson's. I'll give you that. Niall being so tall, I can't really see anything past his head. This fella don't give a what's it, and he's vaping away right in front of a steward. <laughs> Boreham would wiggled themselves out of that one. That was close to 1 0 Wheelstone. My camera is better than yours. So if I see Chip X, it's not going in my blog. The answer is no, it's not going in my blog. Now piss off. Support your support is fucking shit. Well, not only is your language, but your atmosphere is too. Wheelstones have got themselves a free kick. <laughs> Maybe I might need a pair of glasses, but I can't actually even see that a corner's being taken place, can you? Uh, where's the ball? Where's the ball? Where's the ball? There's a, oh, there's the ball. There's the ball. Up in the air. Up in the air. You should see it for yourself, but yeah, not the best of views, like I said. No excuses turning up late to a non-league game. Oh, friend. Football friend. Football friend. Right, I'm hungry. Let's see what this ground has got to offer. A portion of chips and a bottle of Sprite. That brings me to the value of £4.70, and I'm tucking away. Useful stand, this. <laughs> She fell over, she fell over. I can't lie, I know it's non-league football, but not a lot has happened in this first half. But on the bright side, I've finished my chips. And halftime is now approaching. And blimey, is that somebody's house over there? That was a good half. Yes, that was quite a pooey half, but more to come in the second half. Second half is approaching, and this keeper appears to not have a name in the back of his shirt. Boreham Wood are on the break here. Can he keep it on? Oh, he keeps it on. Uh, no, no, he doesn't. If there's one thing I love about non-league football, that is taunting the keeper. You oh, shit! Ah! 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 Apologies to any earphone users if I hurt their ears, or if it made it sound like that I definitely ate something dodgy the night before. Away. Oh, shit. There might be a strong stench of backy, but I'll tell you what also smells a goal incoming. However, let's abuse the keeper first. If anyone spots the Wheelstone Raider, DM me your bank details and I'll give you 20 quid. Can't lie, I thought that ball was going to hit me. A goal is a goal, but you're probably not going to get much easier than that. Anchor, anchor, anchor. <laughs> Nevertheless, that's Boreham Wood 1, Willstone 0.
Willstone Raider will not be happy. For you, we're coming for you! FC Bournemouth, they're coming for you! Yep, that's right, they're coming for Bournemouth. Comment below if you want me to go to that FA Cup match. <laughs> You should know better than to waste water like that. Boreham Wood with a chance. Yeah, come on! Oh, how's he missed that? It's coming close to the end and they're doing everything they can to waste time. Even though it was offside, absolutely no excuse to miss that. I honestly feel your pain, sunshine. Boreham Wood have got themselves another win. That game brings them closer to first place. A chance for maybe some playoffs as well into the four leagues. They beat Wimbledon the other day in the FA Cup, and now they're going over to play Bournemouth. Again, comment below if you want me to watch that game. The players are thanking the fans for their attendances. Can't see the Willstone Raider anywhere. Gutted that I didn't spot him. Comment below if there's any good Willstone matches you want me to see. Making my way now, but I'm not impressed with that litter. Put it in the bin, you lazy sods. This silly pubescence of a child thinks it's a very clever idea to pitch invade. Well, you won't be going to America anytime soon, sunshine. Team Huddle deep conversation about their important fixtures coming up. Now it's time we went our way back home. I'm taking the train and the bus to get home. Just add that to my receipt right now. I think it's now time that we decide to review the overall experience of this game. Granted, the journey to central London wasn't really relevant to Boreham Woods, but having said that though, the ticket itself was 20 quid. I thought that was a little bit too far-fetched for a non-league game, but I understand that maybe this is down to teams trying to recover after lockdown and they do need the money to rebuild their clubs. I, I don't know, but I thought the price was a little bit far-fetched for me. Was it worth the price? Well, we saw a very scrappy 1-0 win. Don't think the 50 quid was pretty much worth watching that. If we look into the food refreshments, though, um, I was pleasantly surprised with how tasty the chips were. They were very nicely seasoned. Okay, maybe £4.70 for some chips and a Sprite was a little bit odd, but nevertheless, that definitely satisfied me. I'm giving that a 3.5 out of 5 for my refreshment rating. Okay, if I have to talk about the atmosphere, I mean, there's really not a lot to go by. Not that many chance. Fairly quiet. I'm sorry, it's getting a 0.5 out of 5 from me. Rating the stadium overall, I mean, I was quite impressed with the pitch. Brilliant quality for a non-league football side. I don't think there was too much character to the ground. I mean, it, yeah, it was fairly okay, but I don't think it gets any higher than that. So I'm going to give the ground a 2.5 out of 5 as my stadium rating. And this is called Through the Turnstiles, baby. So we're going to be rating the turnstiles. If it wasn't for that really bad focus on the camera because of the lack of lighting inside those turnstiles, I'd be giving it a solid 5 out of 5. But instead, it's a 4.9 out of 5 for me. I am yet to see a perfect view of a turnstile when I get to a ground. Anyway, that's it for today's upload. I hope you enjoyed episode two of Through the Turnstiles. Link in the description below if you want to see episode one in case you've missed that. And yeah, comment below which game you want me to see next.